Just an outside in the Porsche here before we get this nice dish started. It's May. Um, springtime is here, of course. We had last month they had a great dish with lamb, um, a lamb shoulder, I believe. This time we've got a nice shrimp. We're going to start in hot liquid and basically we're going to poach it, turn off the fire, and just let it sit and steep. With that shrimp, we got that's been thawed out. Uh, I got the 1620 shrimp here. We're going to have also sugar snap peas. Also, we have scallions. And I've got like the baby carrots. You can use the larger ones, but these are little small, thin ones that I got at the farmer's market that are great. And of course, we got some lemons that are going to go really well with this shrimp dish. So let's get started on this. And um, I'm going to talk about how to prep the shrimp first and with the vegetables. All right, there's a couple things on this shrimp now. These days you can buy frozen shrimp that's already peeled. This shrimp has the shells on the outside, but it's been cleaned right here. As you can see, right, it's been cleaned. So all we got to do is basically take the shells off this. Um, I like the tails off. I'm not really into having a stack of tails left at the end of my plate. So I take the tails off too. Like I said, make sure this whole little area is cleaned out here. That's your tract, your intestinal tract. That has to be cleaned out. If you see anything dark like that, take it out. Okay. So those are clean shrimp. Next, on the sugar snap peas, these have already been cleaned already. Sometimes you're gonna have like a little peel that has to be pulled off on the sugar snaps, but these are pretty clean already. Just make sure that that tip end is, is done on both sides. So that's our sugar snaps. Let's get ready to get cooking. First before we start cooking the shrimp is we're gonna make our instant rice. I'm using here the quick cook brown rice, just cause it saves so much time. I mean, basically, you got 10 to 15 minutes and you're done with your rice. Um, you could do a, a long uh, grain rice if you wanted. I'm using the brown rice because it's more nutritional. It's a whole grain. So let's get that up to simmer. All right, rice is coming to a boil, so i got to turn that down just a little. All right, on the carrots, as you can see, I have a nice, these nice slender baby carrots, of course. I'm going to take the grain off. You have really tiny baby carrots. You can use the whole ones. But we've got longer ones, so I'm going to kind of cut the ends off here. I've already peeled them, of course. And then we're going to go on the bias on these. A nice cut just at an angle. See that angle that I'm using right there? Nice, steady angle. That's about half inch to a quarter inch. No, let's say a quarter inch wide. I like this cut. It's nice texture. So that's our bias cut we're doing on our carrots. Also, you can do the same thing with the scallions if you want, or we'll go straight down. Round cuts on our scallions. Take your ends off, line up your, take the roots off there. Then in half, with our scallions, and then I like to line up a couple at once because that saves me some time. Speed is everything. So there you go, at an angle, not too thin, a little bit of texture on this, and that's going to be our scallions. Alright, this dish is so easy. Basically, you're going to put it in cold water, then carrots. Whoops, scallion out of there. Then our carrots. This is just going to come up to a simmer first. Alright, our carrots have been simmering about 10 minutes. Now, turn in our shrimp. Shrimp all goes in there. Also, sugar snaps. Yes, sugar snaps in there too. Spread that around. This is going to come up to a simmer. Now it's coming up to a simmer. See that? Check it out. Turn it off. We're going to just let it turn it off and it's going to basically poach itself at this point and it's going to sit for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Just turn it off and let it cook slowly. 10 minutes are up. Now we're going to drain it. You can drain it into a sink carefully. Take all that liquid out, whatever you want to use. So the shrimp is basically cooked now, and we have the, it's nice texture. That's the thing you want to do with shrimp, it's the fine line. You want a kind of an opaque, um, translucent that's going to be in the inside of the uh, shrimp just to be cooked. That's the key to a quality shrimp, not for it to be overcooked. Um, scallions in there. Put in our scallions. Now, of course, I'm going to reheat this a little bit by adding our soy butter to it. But our rice is ready to go. Now I'm going to add my soy butter right to this. I love soy butter. It's so much better than regular butter. And um, there's some good brands out there you want to check out. Also, 
season it with pepper. You can put some salt in there too. Also, we got some fresh lemon salt. Not too much, because you do have the shrimp that's going to substitute the salt. Also, the lemon's going to substitute the salt. Squeeze a nice fresh lemon in there. Then go around, get those pits out. Make sure you use your hand as a nice sieve to get out the pits. Very nice. Now, on a low heat, just a little low heat to melt that butter, and we're ready to go on this. All right. I season my rice a little bit. You know, it's up to you how you want to do it. Um, you don't have to season the rice. Of course, like I said, the quick cook rice is the way to go in your busy life that you have, you know. And also, I like to use the quick cook brown rice because I'm getting the whole grains and we need all that grape fiber all the time. Very important, not only in the morning with your oatmeal, but also at night all the way through. It's a slow burning carb, much better for you. Um, and it turns the fat a lot less when you're dealing with a whole grain. So carrots on the top of there, scallions, shrimp. The shrimp are just tender enough because of course they haven't overcooked. They don't have that rubbery thing going on. That's what you're looking for. Notice, like I said, I turned the heat on, came to a simmer, then turned it off, and that shrimp sat there and just poached. Slow poached, that's what we're talking about. Wow. Tender, just what you're looking for. I'm gonna enjoy this one. Enjoy. See you soon.